Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Call of Pripyat. This is part 29 and as you can see I'm still in the Skadovsk. Last time we returned here to Saturn to finish a couple of missions but I realized after uh, we ended, or after I ended the last video that we actually didn't complete one of the missions here. Um, this one, tempting business, the one that started out with aboard, our swamp the detectors, breaker. the three uh, Velas detectors and all that. So we actually need to head back to Owl here and we now have option to say Beard told me I had a different arrangement. Different my Special? ass. You got something, hmm. still the means. If not, take a does, when, does this one influence, influential type over at Saturn goes by the name of Sultan? Pay him a visit. He'll tell you what to do. So I think he's trying to make me do something. And, you know, this Sultan guy was the guy sending bandits after the stalkers. So, no Sultans. Give me my share right now. I'm being kind of harsh here, but... Well, sort of, I guess. Um, so got some money out of it and well, since the last episode I also sold off some good bunch of my loot so now I have 98,000 rubles and I believe that if I head down to Owl um, yeah we can actually see he has some different artifacts now that's because their inventory is the same goes for Owl and the other traders is kind of randomized. Um, but I want to sell him one of these. Actually, might sell him three of those and got plenty of them, so... And... I got another achievement. And this one is called a wealthy, wealthy client. Although you know what it's like to be short of cash, you're not doing too, ba too badly at the moment. In, in fact, sometimes your wealth can be considerable, considerable, and traders value a client of your stature. Traders offer you more rare and expensive goods. And I got that achievement because I got past 100,000 rubles, so... Yeah, not doing too bad, for sure, and... One of the other achievements we got last time, I think, um, let's see... Mm, I think it's this one, one of ours, it's called, uh, means that Owl actually expands his inventory. Um, so this is not necessarily directly related to the achievement we just got, but a combination of this and another one we got. But you can see he's got, like, heavier armors and sniper rifles, the Groza, and even rockets. Let's buy some of those. <laughs> Have some fun. Um, and such. And even different types of scopes. Um, might want to... Let's check it out. So there's a... This is the one I currently have, which is a... F okay. Okay, so this scope actually has built-in night vision. And this one... is a 1.6 times magnification scope, so it's actually more like a close-range scope. Hmm. Yeah, why not? And he's got some more ammo now as well, and some stuff, grenades, and so... But um, I think that's going to do it for now, so I think, finally, we kind of wrapped it up here, and... Hmm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's safe to sell him these two, the PDA that I got from the guy who was after Snack. Um, well, both of them are from his uh, Sultan's bandits. I think they're safe to give. And what I mean by safe is that these other things I can sell them here are tied to... Okay. 
Hmm. But the other PDAs and the documents I found in the stashes in Jupiter are tied into some uh, achievements and so I want to make sure I give them to the right people and not just sell them to OWL for money. So, so let's head back to pilot here and Hello. head back to Jupiter. <laughs> to Yanov Station. And we're back at Yanov Station. Night time, and I'm slightly hungry. So, I think I'll... grab... some food. Head over to Hawaii. Hello. And... buy some energy drinks. So, I'm not sure if Hawaiian actually sold these scopes before. I might be mistaken, but I would think that the achievements we recently got is part of why he's selling them out, but I might be wrong. Anyways, I think it's time to have a bit of fun. Well, not right now, but I'm just gonna have take a nap. And let's say eight in the morning. Kind of forgot to check how much, m how many medical supplies have actually accumulated back at Saturn, but I have plen plenty here, so it's not like I really need them. But so um, let's see. Let's pick up those and this fella. Um, I think we'll leave this one behind for now and... Oh, what the hell. Let's bring a sniper rifle. And some ammo. And let's have some bread. Let's try out this scope. Oh, I probably need to detach the current one. Yeah, and this one, and yeah, rock and roll. Well, I'm I not sure if to a brave squad of duty men sent to the front line for some serious hey, stalker. Scum How are you? So, just gonna head out here so I can actually reload. Yeah. That's nice. And make sure that this is loaded as well. Now, I haven't really been using a lot of these more specialized weapons, but uh, you can upgrade the uh, different sniper rifles, but you can't upgrade the uh, RPG, sadly. But, um... But, um... This next mission I think you're able to kind of have a bit of fun with it. At least I. At least I hope so, because we're gonna talk to this dude. And he actually speaks English in the vanilla version, but I kind of like how most actually speak Russian, and you can actually hear people talking or telling jokes and stuff like that in Russian, which I kind of like. Adds a lot to the atmosphere and. I can understand that they sometimes need to speak English because I don't speak Russian, so and of course for the text as well, but it's kinda nice that it's not just everyone speaking English like it's their nati native language. But um good day to you, Stalker. I'm Uncle Yar. And this is another guy I believe who's been 
in all three games, uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, Clear Sky, and now Call of Pripyat. I guess you're tired from the road, eh? Have a bite to eat, since you're here. Chose a good time to show up, too. I need some help. At my age, there are things I can't do on my own. Back in the day, though... Yep, and I got a present. Some food. What's the job? Easy as pie, the two of us make it way over to Kapachi. That was the buried village. Um, it's not far from here. Rest you'll see for yourself when they get there. Sounds like fun. Won't your freedom friends help you? I don't want to bother them with this stuff. The two of us can handle it, no problem. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Cool, we'll be back before we can say Bloodsucker. Ha! But, um... That's just a joke. From him. Don't be surprised by anything. Follow me quietly. If we keep it hush-hush and don't move, things will be nice and easy. And, uh... This is actually a... I like a fun mission, or at least something you can have a bit of fun with. I think. Or at least I hope so. But, um, we're back here at Kapachi, and... We... went here not long ago. Looks like a quiet village. Unless we disturb the local residents. <laughs> yeah. We went here recently with these, uh, stalker scientists. And... There were loads of zombies coming from this place. So peaceful. It's like a resort. Yeah, great resort. Hmm, doesn't seem to be many zombies around though, but... The kind of strange thing is that as we're walking here, even if there were zombies, they would completely ignore us. So... This Uncle Yar fella suddenly knows a thing or two about the zone, I guess. We're almost there. Cool. Yeah. Peace. Peaceful and quiet. Almost like a resort. After a nuclear disaster. Oh, there are some zombies up there, but never mind. Just gonna do a quick save here. Let's see if I was right. So, some heavily armed mercenaries. Approaching. Looks like after all, shoot those bastards down. So let's see what this can do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, I'm still being shot at. I actually got hit. Oh, down there somewhere. Fire away! Nice. I'm not sure how... So, that's that. I can see you're bursting with questions, and I can understand that. Let's have a little <laughs> talk, shall we? Sounds good. Um, well, this is, I would almost say, kind of disappointing, because usually... This area is loaded with zombies, which makes for uh, some good times because the mercenaries will actually, s well, the zombies will start to attack the mercenaries, so they'll be engaging them, and all the same, at the same time, Yar and, I guess, myself are shooting up everything. And that's why I brought the rocket launcher, hoping that there would be, like, masses of dudes mercs and zombies alike, but well, 
still had a bit of fun with it, but uh, not as much or as chaotic as I had anticipated, but oh well. Can't have it all, I guess. Let's see, thanks for helping an, um, an old man out. Take this. If you have any questions, ask away. I'll answer the best I can. Well, why are we shooting mercenaries? Some, la some lads came here to kill me. You see, I was hiding in the bushes, minding my own business, when a mercenary squad showed up. Their leader was yapping away on his PDA about a central lab in Pripyat. An urgent order, isn't that? I stepped on a stupid branch and alerted them to the fact that I was there, so I grabbed my rifle and made a run for it. I always had the feeling that they'd come for me. That's the price we pay for eavesdropping nowadays. Why didn't you ask Freedom for help? What's the point of getting the mercs angry with Freedom? We had one war and that was enough. This is a personal matter, no point involving them, you know. So, um... I think I'll actually stay here because there's a stash right out there. Well, actually kind of pointless stash now, but I also just want to check the mercenaries to see if they an have anything on them. But I'm guessing, since I kind of blew them up with RPGs, that their weapons and stuff might not be in the best condition. Hmm. Just a hunch, anyways. So let's check out this stash. Oh, oh. Okay, I think I need to... Oh, right. I think I might need to drop down here and pick up this stash. And, well, there you have it. Another one of those Velas detectors. But I managed to get three before I actually looted this stash, so... But it's still nice because acquiring f three of them can be... Well... Hmm, not sure. It's not really difficult, but just takes a bit of time because sometimes you're lucky to get one and you have to um, do some missions and stuff. So, yeah, this weapon is not in any condition, any good condition at all. So I think I'll okay. I'll just drop it. There's not even ammo in it. So, but, um, I didn't kill them to actually get any loot, per se, so I'll just take the most important stuff. It's not like I need money or anything, but drugs and the bandages, sure, I'll take it. Alright, let's grab some food. Oh, and while we're here, that's actually a good thing. I don't still can actually carry a bit because there's more stashes here at Kopachi that we haven't checked out. I think the first one is right up here. At least if memory serves me. And I think it does. Right there we have a Groza with a grenade launcher and some ammo. Of course, in the Groza, there is a built-in rocket launcher, so, or s grenade launcher, sorry. Um, so this is, not sure why it's kind of like in the stash with this one, but... There you go. The Groza is a pretty, pretty nice weapon as well. Um, let's see... Right, the next stash. Well, I'm not sure if there are any... There was the stash down there, and I think there's one more besides the one we just looted. And it might be over here. Um, okay. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the uh, this Groza is pretty hard hitting. Um, hits like a hits like a truck, some might say. Whoop. Hmm. I don't think the stash is in here. Okay, and an emission. So let's um, see if we can quickly find it. 
Oh god, this is gonna end badly. And I don't have any antibiotics. Um. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hmm. Well, I'll just give it up and head back. No reason to get myself killed over a stash. Oh, I think I can hide inside the scientist bunker. At least if I don't have my weapon out. And as you can see, everyone, well almost everyone, at least Topol and his crew managed to get inside. But um, everyone kind of head, heads inside here, including the mercenaries, which is a pretty nice touch. I like the fact that they also have to seek cover or well, die trying. <laughs> Hello. Hello! Enjoy the emission! Hey dudes! Someone turn on the radio? Okay, I'll do it. Okay, no mind. So... Oh, I think it broke, but nothing in that one. nothing in that one. Shouldn't we, like, shut the doors or something? Guys? Guys? Oh well. I guess I can go over here and have a look. Um, at some point we'll be checking out how it's like to be out there during an emission, but it's gonna wait have to wait for that just a bit and um, well still haven't finished his mission so let's check out his yes stuff um, I hmm, think I'm pretty good with all the stuff here oh he actually sells the the prototype that I now have as well so if I ever lose this I can buy a new one that's cool but kind of pointless but anyways Sup? Oh. Duplet. Hello. You're in the wrong place, buddy. Well, I'm... Jesus. There's an emission. The emission is over. I hope everyone's okay. If you're hurt, come to Yanov and we'll patch you up. Hmm. Okay. So... Time to head back outside, I guess. <laughs> Might as well take care of business while you're waiting for the emission to pass, right? Hmm, cool. So, I think all there's really left to do is just head back to, uh, okay, we'll just get grab that stash real quick and and then I think it's about time we went down to the Jupiter plant down here in the southeast and take care of the uh, some business. Search a stash, check out the last of the stashes in that included the uh, documents from Straylock and his group. Um, so, SP, SPAS shotgun and some ammunition. So, anyways, that was, well, an attempt to try some fun, but not sadly not as much fun as I had hoped for, but that's life, I guess. Hmm. 
All right. <laughs> okay. What the hell is going on? Okay, I think I know why my frame rate is horrible at the moment. All these with all these stalkers around. Not sure what they're doing, but or perhaps not doing. But um I guess that was it. Let's check up on Yar, yeah, yeah he's returned safely. How's life? You look better by the day. Thanks, dude. Yeah, and uh well, this is interesting. This is um well a glitch, I guess, but kinda like a nice glitch. Because eventually Yar will be able to repair your gear and although there's no repair modification button down here you can press the shortcut for it and you'll end up in here and hmm see if I can find something so you can actually repair my equipment um, and later on he actually will repair my gear for free I believe but um, not at the moment, so we might as well use Nitro because he gives a discount, I think. Perhaps I'm not perhaps not on the repairs. I thought that about cotton, so and was wrong. So but um I think that was enough fun for today. Um so I'll just stash these items and perhaps sell uh some of them or something. And um I guess that's it for part 29. Hmm. I guess 30 will be a fitting number for some more serious business, I guess. So, on that note, um, thank you all for watching. I shall see you again in the next episode.